Imagine a world with no hours, no minutes, no way to tell day from night only the sun rising and falling, the moon waxing and waning. Before time was something we measured, it was something we felt. But the moment we learned to track it, everything changed. It began with the heavens. Early humans noticed patterns, the stars moved in a slow, reliable dance. Days passed, seasons changed, and the sun returned to the same point in the sky every year. Time wasn't just passing. It was cyclical, predictable, it could be tracked. The first timekeepers were shadows. The sundial, one of the oldest tools in human history, turned the movement of the sun into lines and marks. Suddenly, people could divide the day into sections morning, noon, and evening. Life could be scheduled. In Egypt, priests used star clocks at night and water clocks during the day. Time became sacred woven into rituals, farming, and governance. The Nile's flooding, once mysterious, could now be predicted with celestial calendars. Babylonians refined the idea even more. They divided the sky into 12 zodiac signs and split hours into 60 minutes a system we still use today. Timekeeping evolved from mere survival into a science. By the time of the Romans, public sundials helped keep society running. And in the Middle Ages, mechanical clocks appeared in European cathedrals, not just telling time but ringing it. The sound of hours became a rhythm that structured daily life. In the 17th century, Galileo's study of pendulums led to even more accurate clocks. Then came the pocket watch time you could carry with you. Humans were no longer bound by nature's clock. We had made our own. Today, we measure time with astonishing precision down to billionths of a second. Satellites sync our clocks across the planet. Time has become invisible, global, and indispensable. But it all started with a glance at the sky. From sun shadows to smartphones, our quest to understand time shaped civilization itself. Time wasn't just invented, it was discovered one tick at a time.